welcome. Happy Monday. Sorry, I have to get this together. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Happy Monday. I sound a little nasally this morning because I had a rough weekend and I'm just trying to get these sinuses back together. But hopefully you can hear me. You can hear me okay. Good morning, Lena. I love you. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. This Monday morning oats. This Monday morning oats. For those of you who have not tuned in before, Monday morning oats is like your mind, body, spirit, Wheaties. After going through, yes, I'm about to talk about that. After going through a rough weekend and doing anything that you had to do, we come, we show up on Monday morning to motivate you, to get you going, to give you that mental Wheaties that you need. So Monday morning oats for me today is based around going from destructive to being productive, from destructive to productive. What made me want to do Monday morning oats about being destructive was I realized on Friday that I wasn't feeling well, <clears throat> excuse me, and so I called my husband, which is what I call my kid's father, who was my husband. I called my husband and I asked him to bring me some Vicks, uh, Vicks for my nose, some Halls cough drops, and something else that I had always used before. It was a habit. It was something I was used to doing when I didn't feel well. And he said, no, you just need some ginger, some honey, and some lemon. And I laughed because one, I thought, boy, did I teach you well. And then two, I thought, you're absolutely right. The VIX has things in it that shouldn't even be going up our nose and in our brains, but it was my go-to. It was what I was used to doing and used to using when I didn't feel well. And I thought, I got to talk about this. There are so many things that we are used to doing that are so destructive. There are so many things that we're used to doing because they are habit. I was, it was, it was so cool of him. So he actually brought me some hauls because he said, you can do the hauls, but it doesn't make sense to use the VIX because that's not good for us. I was like, I love it when the teaching that I done gave out comes back to me and bites me in the butt. So I realized that I was used to a destructive pattern, right? We do things out of habit. This is what we say. I did that because that's what, that's the way my mama did it, or that's the way my auntie did it, or that's the way it was always done. That's the way I was shown to do it. <laughs> I know, right? That's the way I know to do it. So I always put, um, I always put fat back in my collard greens because that's what I saw my mama do. And I always yell at my kids because that's the way we supposed to get them to learn and understand. And I always, you know, pull back and, you know, park a certain way because that's the way it's always been done. It, is, it has become a natural part of your subconscious. You don't even have to think about it. Bacon and eggs and biscuits for breakfast was a habit. It wasn't even because we like bacon and eggs and biscuits for breakfast. It's because we saw somebody get up in the morning and make bacon and eggs and biscuits for breakfast. And now we're turning this destructive behavior into a habit. So my question to you is, how is that working for you? <laughs> how is it working for you? Doing the same things that everybody else has always done and taught you to do, and it's making you fat. It's, make, it's giving you diabetes. It's giving you high blood pressure. It's making you constantly angry to always have the same emotional response to certain reactions. Every time somebody's late, because you are impatient, because that's the way you've always been, now you're upset. I tell you one thing, that destructive behaviors are always based off of these three things. Past experiences. Past experiences. Most of the time, you are reliving an emotion from something that you felt in the past. You can't tell me that you're sad about something right now unless you're living off an experience that you've had and you felt that emotion before. Separation. Separation is, a destruct is one of the main destructive behaviors. Making myself feel like I'm different from you. I'm better than you because I do this a certain way. I go to a certain church. I'm of a certain denomination. 
I've separated myself from you because I make more money or I do a separate, a different job. That's a destructive behavior because at the end of the day, this is a universe, one song, one song, which means we are all connected. We're all the same. And then how you appear, how you appear, how you want me to, how you want me to see you, how, which is pr how you want me to see you and how you really are. There's a gap there, people, and that's part of your destructive behavior. In that gap is shame, is unworthiness, is guilt, it's doubt, it's fear. These are destructive behaviors, past experiences. One of the only ways that people stress about the future, <laughs> yes, it does. Sorry, I hope I'm getting to my point across, though. That's the point. Now, I want to make sure y'all getting it loud and clear. We want to change those destructive behaviors into productive behaviors. The only way you can be productive, three ways. Stay in the present. Anxiety comes from worrying about something that hasn't even taken place yet. Fear comes from, you ain't no psychic. Put your crystal ball away. You can't determine what the outcome is going to be. And if you do, think it to be a good one. Because the only time you come up with fear and anxiety is because you done pulled out your crystal ball and you done told yourself that the end won't be good. Put that away. Stay right now. Stay right here in the present. If you stay present right now, it's about 7.05. It's a beautiful Monday morning. You, you're bright-eyed, you're bushy-tailed, or you're tucked up under your cover. Either way, right now, everything is good. Stay in the present. Be transparent. Be vulnerable. People say that that's a sign of weakness. Bullshit. It's a sign of being real. It's a sign of being open. It's a sign of letting people know you're not a goddamn robot. You are real. Be transparent. Be vulnerable. Open up. Share your shit. It's okay, because at the end of the day, you'll find that there are about 100,000 other people sharing in the same shit with you, and then you don't have to go through it by yourself, right? Third way, who you really are. Close that gap between who you appear to be and who you really are. Close that gap by not focusing on past experiences that make you feel bad, not putting your crystal ball into the future to find out that something's gonna go wrong. Close that, and then you can use that energy to focus on being who you really are, being true to yourself, being honest with yourself. At the end of the day, you can bullcrap me all day long, but if you're not true to you, it's gonna start to show up. And you don't want that to show up, I promise you. You want. You want who you really are and who you appear to be to kind of mirror each other. You want them to look alike, okay? So what you got to do? You got to break the habit of being yourself. How are you going to break the habit of being yourself? You're going to live in gratitude. The only way to live in gratitude is to be in the now, right? You got to be in the now. In order to be thankful, you got to be present. You got to be thankful for everything that you have right now. My stuffy nose still works. I can still smell. I can still breathe. I'm very thankful. These one, This wonderful matte lip gloss that helped me to, to feel my best this morning, I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for the company that makes hauls that I'm going to be chewing on all day. And I can go on and on and on, but that is meaning I'm, I'm in my present. Number two, be quiet. Most people use quietness as a form of fighting. Most people are silent as their way of being, showing you that they're angry. So sometimes people fear silence because they feel like they've so, they're so used to silence being a weapon. Silence is not a weapon. Silence is a tool. And if you sometimes sit in silence, you will get a burst of, you'll get a new mindset. You'll get a, 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 a what I'm trying to say, you'll get a, a fresh word from your higher being. You got to be, you got to, you have to appreciate the silence. You have to meditate on what you really want your life to be like rather than using old emotions from the past to be upset and going and predicting new experiences to come out all bad. 
but be silent. And then thirdly, self-love. You have to show yourself self-love, self-care. If you don't want to say yes, don't say yes, say no. If you know you need, you've worked too much for everybody else, then you don't have time to do something for someone else. And you know that there are things that you need to do for you and for your family. Self-love, self-care is a productive behavior. That's a behavior that's going to help you to build that gratitude, to live in the now, to break the habit of being your old self. Sit in silence. Meditate on who it is that you want to become, what it is that you want in life, what it is you want for your finances, your family, your future. Create new habits. Break the old habit of being yourself. Go from, you can't stop, stop going from what you've always done that isn't working for you into creating new habits that make you feel, look, and be who you want to be. And last but not least, I got a habit, y'all, and I got to confess, got a confession. One of my number one habits is loving you. It's loving you. It's, I can't help myself. I get up here on Monday mornings and I'm so excited to see you. I'm so excited to be here with you. Even though I can barely talk, I love you. It's a habit. I ain't trying to break it because if loving you is wrong, then I don't want to be right. So it's been me, Crystal Shea, plant powered, plant passionate, plant positive, mom of six, ranging in age from three to 23, here to help you transform your life by incorporating more raw plant-based foods into your lifestyle. I love you, Lena. I love you, everybody catching on the replay. Heart, 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 heart. Have a happy Monday. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>